the quote Michael J. Fox, family's not an important thing, it's everything. I'm sure if, that, if I asked how high family is in your loving rankings, it would be probably first, second, or third. But if I asked when the last time you spent meaning, bonding, memories with your family, it was probably either a holiday or some celebration. As seniors, I know that we start to break away from our family as we try to go to college and move some move out of state, some move to farther away places. But we need to keep those relationships. Most people know that there are benefits to having a strong bond with your family, but they still don't have a strong bond. Before I continue, I'm going to tell you a quote from Richard Bach that defines family for me and possibly even for you. The bond that links family is not one of blood, but of, but of respect and joy in each other's lives. Everyone has family, and having a close bond to family will boost your own health physically, psych psychologically, and socio socioeconomically. I know the important, importance of family. I, on, a, on average, I spend two to three hours a day with family, and sometimes it gets too much, but compared to the national average of 34 minutes, that's pretty good. And that's according to SWNS Digital Hub. Today I'll be talking about the physical, psychological, and socio-economical benefits of family time. The first one, there are a variety of physical benefits that you get from spending time with family, and most, most important is uh, family time, is eating with um, family meals. So I'll talk about my brother first. I had his permission before, so I'm completely clear to say this. My brother, during his junior year, he was a rebel, and he did a variety of substances that would not be legally acceptable in today's society. And he got arrested one time. And after my parents paid the bail for some reason, I don't know what he did to get arrested, but they sat him down at the table, and I heard this from upstairs, and they said, my mom said specifically that you need to be spending more time with us because you've been super disconnected with us and you've been spending time with people you shouldn't be. And it took about two weeks of him eating dinner with us before he completely quit all drugs that I know of and he quit binge drinking. And so now he's 100% free and he is the leading setter upper. I would say for activities, he spends most of his time planning activities for our family to get together and hang out to play either like dodgeball or tennis or just go watch a movie and he completely supports it and pays for everything, which is super nice. Family meals are great and super important, but you can still do more. Stress. Stress is probably one of the biggest emotional killers for me, I would have to say. I know that with people moving out for college, like I said earlier, people are super stressed out and they don't have close bonds like they should have with their families, but that's not good at all. You're, the biggest thing you can do when you move away is to have a constant connection with your family, even if that's just calling your mother or making Skype calls. When you're younger, you have this uh, ability called fostering resilience. I'm sure most of you who are older, if you are know with like children by any chance, you know what this means. Fostering resilience is the ability to recover quickly from adversities that you face in your life, especially when it comes to a connection you have with your family. You get this resilience from facing adversity and the support you get from it. To correlate it with high schoolers, a relationship that has no barriers or hindrances are more likely to fail if it's going perfect and then you meet an obstacle and it just normally falls apart. I bet the longest relationships here are in this room have been hard and stressful, but in the end you made it more resilient in the end. It's very hard to overcome obstacles 
by yourself when you have no one to support you. But if you have people to support you, you can definitely overcome almost anything that is thrown your way. Having a strong family bond can physically and psychologically benefit you, but it can also benefit your socioeconomic status. Spending time with your family is the leading factor in making you more confident. Sp spending time with family or friends is the leading factor in making you more confident. It'll help you become non-judgmental, and it's been proven to ha make you have a more active social life. This will create more opportunities that you need for jobs, relationships, or anything else that you need. It will just make you more comfortable, like public speaking, for example. Oh. So reflect back on what I talked about today. <laughs> To reflect what I talked about today, I talked about the positive effects of family through physical health, psychological health, and socioeconomical status, and how you can boost that. Everybody has family, and having a close bond to that family will boost your overall health and help you live longer. To reflect back on what, on the quote from Michael J. Fox, family is not an important thing, it's everything. My grandpa was a World War II vet, and he was an independent worker and he pretty much lived by himself by the age of nine and he still ended up raising five kids and his wife died very early in the relationship and so he had to deal all with that and he lived a very stressful life and like I said he was a World War II vet and he saw stuff that he shouldn't have seen and he didn't want to see but I asked him on his deathbed what he regretted most in life and he said that he regretted not giving his children a better life than they deserved because they <coughs> never treated them the way that I would think that a father would be wanting to be treated by his son. And he felt like he failed them because they didn't have a strong family relationship with him. Even though he was loved by them, they didn't show it. And so I'm going to end with the quote from uh, the best Fortnite player, Dakotas. He says, life comes at you fast, so you better be ready. Life comes at you fast, and some people may not be here tomorrow, and so you should always have a strong relationship with them because you never know when life will hit you fast. Thank you.